So one of another one of uh, NX Witness's best features is the advanced PTZ feature. Um, it doesn't work on all cameras. We do have a list of all advanced PTZ cameras in our support portal that we do support currently. Um, if you have a big project or you have, you know, you want to get one of these cameras in one of your cameras integrated with advanced BTZ, you can contact us via support.networkoptics.com. Um, but advanced PTZ really is a, is, a, is a really nice way to control PTZ cameras. Um, typically with IP cameras, you get a little bit of latency um, when you're controlling PTZ with a mouse. And so you get these requests a lot of times, like I, I want to use this uh, old analog joystick. Um, we don't want to support analog technologies because we think that the, the, the industry is moving so fast away from it, it doesn't really make, make sense. So what we came up with instead was advanced PTZ functionality. And advanced PTZ just makes your mouse, you know, your main tool for like zooming around and controlling PTZ cameras is really nice. So first of all, make sure you have a camera that supports advanced PTZ, right? Second of all, click on the PTZ icon and you can see uh, we've got this grid and this kind of target. Um, and the way that this works is super simple, right? Um, whatever I want to see, I draw a box on it and the camera's going to zoom there. That's it. That's how it works. If I, if I see something, highlight it, zoom, right? So for example, right now I'm looking at our office. Um, it's a Sunday. Nobody's here. I'm alone doing lonely stuff, working on this stuff for you guys <laughs> to explain everything. So if I want to zoom in on uh, our ping pong table, all right, I just highlight the ping pong table and, and, and the camera will zoom in, right? Now different cameras have different performance levels. Some are going to be super fast, some not so fast. It really depends on the camera manufacturer. Um, but you can see that was super simple. If I want to zoom back out, I just double click and it'll go back to the, the home view as long as my mouse cooperates, right? So when you get that double zoom, you get that square that comes out and then the camera returns to its existing uh, location, right? Um, another thing with PTZ that I can do is I can set up PTZ presets, right? So if I go to PTZ and I go to manage, first of all, I don't have any saved positions here. I can see that right away. So why don't I save this position as our home position? And you can see we have a hotkey associated with it, which is, which is home. Uh, which is one, sorry. So I've saved that position now. Now let's say I want to zoom into the ping pong table again because, you know, that was, I want to save that as ping pong view. Right? So I zoom into the ping pong table. And I go ahead and say, I'm going to save this position as well. So PTZ save position, ping pong. Press OK. Now I've saved that position, right? Um, let's zoom back out again. What's another position I can save here? Um, well, let's look over here. What's going on over here? The other thing I can do is I can just point my mouse and click on something and the camera will adjust its, its uh, center point to be at that point. So if I want to just say, let's, let's make a meeting room view here. Now it's meeting room. Let's save this position and let's call it meeting room. So these are PTZ presets I'm setting up for it, right? Which is really nice because now if I want to go back to the ping pong table, instead of having to move and move and click and move and click, I just click ping pong and it's going to go straight to that field of view that it had uh, that I saved for ping pong table. Same thing for um, home view, right? Just go right back to the home view, right? or even in the middle of uh, this, I can go back over to meeting room. So I'm gonna send that command to meeting room and I go right back over to meeting room, right? So it's, it's a nice way to set up and manage your PTZ cameras. In terms of using a mouse, I mean, this is really the nicest way we can think of doing it. Um, the other thing I can do is I can set up a PTZ tour. So let's go to, let's just do that right now since I'm on it. So I'm gonna, I've got no tours down here selected. So I'm gonna create a tour. When I go to create a tour, you can see new tours pop up. Look at all this uh, office tour, right? Hotkey is a uh, let's say six, right? And the position. Let's go ahead and add that to it. Position. Add a position here. Let's go one. Let's go meeting room and ping pong table. And then my stay time in between is five seconds for each and press apply 
okay now when I want to start the tour I just have to push the button six right so if I press six then you can see tour is now active and it's gonna just keep going on the tour until somebody turns off the tour right but this is advanced PTZ functionality and PTZ tours um, give it a go on your own system enjoy yourself